Hello, welcome to the Robert C. Williams Museum of Paper Making. For this paper play, we'll be making Mardi Gras masks. First, we're going to pick out a base. I recommend that you look some up there's, because there's so many different kinds of masks. Your masks don't have to look like any of the ones I'm about to show. For example, the masks that I'm showing you are just half masks, which just cover the eyes. It's not a full mask that covers the entire face. So our first example is this traditional masquerade mask. It has pointed ends. The second one is another masquerade mask, but it has a round edge in the middle. The third is a masquerade mask, but it's more crown-like shape with one single pointed edge. Now this one is more experimental. We have swirls going off on one side and then swirls going down on the other side. And then one single swirl in the middle. Our last mask is this animal wolf mask. You can tell because of the pointy ears and then the jagged edges. For this demo, we'll be using the wolf So before we create our actual base, we need to create a template. The template should be made out of cardstock and should be roughly around 8.5 by 11 inches. If you're making this for a child, you would want it to be smaller. And if you want a bigger mass, you can make it slightly bigger. Once you get your paper, fold it in half, draw half of your design, and also the eye hole. Then while it's still folded, cut it out. Unfold it, cut out one eye, fold it back in, and you should see where you need to cut the other eye. So this is the wool face template. We're going to grab a piece of cardstock, put our template on there, and then trace out the template design. And this is our finished base. Now that we finish our base, we can now talk about decorations. You can do blackout shapes or cut out pieces of decorative paper like, and then paste them onto the mask like these flowers. Or you can draw lines to add texture or just different patterns. When it comes to thinking about decorations you want on your mask, I recommend using the template to make a design plan and then draw out your designs there. For example, here you can see that I have this flower-like shape to highlight the eye and also because it looks really cool. And I have these web-like lines going out of the eye to make it look more of like a flower and also to fill up space in this area. The middle was empty, so I decided to make this rectangular diamond shape in the center. And to fill up the space here, I created this triangle eyebrow looking shape here. The next step is to put your designs onto a new piece of paper and then cut them out. After cutting your pieces, you should lay them on top of your base so you know how it looks. And if you're satisfied, you can glue them on.
and we're done gluing. Now we're going to make holes for the string that will hold the mask on our face. So I'm going to use an owl. If you don't have one, you can use a hole puncher or a needle. So when you're poking the hole, you want to make sure that you're careful. And if you're young, you might want some adult help. So I'm going to place my fingers underneath the mask. And then make sure they're not in the place where I'm going to press and make the hole. I'm going to do the same to the other side. Then I'm going to take a length of string push it through the hole tie a knot do the same thing to the other side and we're done i hope you guys enjoy making your own mardi gras mask